Today we're talking about the best way to feed your King airless single component sprayer. You have siphon fed, then you have hopper fed. When it comes to siphon feeding a King sprayer, it's a four foot tube that goes from your material suction all the way up into your fluid section. Now the problem with siphoning material that far is that you open yourself up to possible leaks. So the clamps, for example, over time can loosen up if they're not checked regularly. You can also get cuts in your siphon tube that can cause air leaks, which then causes cavitation, which will shut you down for the day. The other downside to siphon tubes is you can never fully clean the inside of this siphon tube because you're drawing in at low pressure. So it's going to take you several more gallons to flush versus a hopper. Moving to the hopper, we're using gravity to our advantage to help push that material down into the fluid section and you can see we have a very short run between where the material is coming in and the fluid section. So that's very beneficial to us as far as getting material into the pump. The other benefit to having such a short distance is we have less potential for air leaks, which will also keep us up and running longer. Probably the most beneficial thing about the hopper is we're going to use a lot less solvent to flush at the end of the day. So where the siphon might take us 15 to 20 gallons, we're only going to use probably five gallons, maybe 10 tops to flush this out. So you're going to save in solvent alone. Hope that helps in deciding and feeding your airless sprayer going forward. Thanks.